Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome to my November TBR slash birthday book haul. I know I just did a rather crazy book haul um, this past month and I promise this will be the last one until Christmas, I think. Basically, I have acquired 17 new books um, since we last spoke <laughs> on the book haul front, and yeah, I wanted to show you them today, and I figured that it would just be easiest to combine um, what I got for my birthday with my TBR and integrate it together because the bulk of them are going to be my TBR. I have a really rather ambitious uh, TBR for this month, but it's going to be fun. I It's like the most exciting reading month for me that I have had in a very long time. So let's begin. First off, I will say that in the interest of tackling my ever-growing uh, TBR pile within my shelves here, I have put myself on a library book ban, meaning I cannot take books out from the library for the next little while. So it will be exclusively books that I own for the next bit, and I'm pretty excited about that. First up, I plan to read Ferris. I'm going to uh, read it on my Kindle. This is the uh, fourth book in the Lunar Chronicles series, and it is about Queen Lavanna, who has been the villain so far in this series, and it'll be interesting to get her perspective. But I'm reading this so that I can read Winter Look at winter! It's so beautiful! It comes out on the 10th. I don't know when we're going to be able to get to read it. I'm also going to be listening to The Penultimate Peril on audiobook. This is the 12th book in the series of Unfortunate Events series, and I don't know what's going to be happening in this one at all, and I'm not even going to look it up at all because I'm really enjoying going into these books blind now since I really don't remember anything. And so everything that happens is a, is a new surprise and new memories and it's great. Bit of a spoiler alert here, but if, well, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know, but with my birthday came the completion of my collecting the Dear Canada Diaries series. I think I'm going to do a separate video on those alone uh, once I complete them, but basically, for my TBR, I'll let you know. Over the next couple of months, I am going to be marathoning this entire series from start to finish in chronological order, meaning while these books have been published over the years as coming from different parts of Canadian history in different years, I uh, took the liberty of chronologizing them last night, and so I laid them out in order and they were just beautiful and so I'm going to start from I believe the first one 1666 and read all the way through to the last one that ends at 1948. It's obviously not about the same girl but here just to show you I've got a couple here. They're different times of Canadian history, different girls and yeah I'm so so excited to read them so I'm just going to be marathoning them um, over the next how long, however long it takes me to finish them and I'm gonna be reading them right alongside the other books that I have in my TBR for that month. I'm also gonna be listening to The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman on audiobook. This is a lot of people's favorites, and I hope it's the same for me. I really love his work, and I think this is gonna be, yeah, the first adult book by him that I've listened to, so I'm excited. I also plan on reading The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I honestly don't know what this is about, except I'm guessing a night circus, and it's an adult fantasy, and I it's just gotten so many good reviews from, like, everybody that I've heard that has read it has loved it, and is on, like, up there in their most favorite books of all time, so I'm really excited to finally read it. I also plan on completing Leading Men, The 50 Most Unforgettable Actors of the Studio Era, a book by TCM. I am only around 30 pages into it right now, but I can see myself moving pretty quickly through this, and yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. Okay, we're almost there. Um, these last three books are the start of the birthday book haul, and they're going to be read by me this month. Okay, so this book um, is the start of the book haul, but it is something I'm planning to read this month that wasn't for my birthday, and I got it for myself as an early birthday present, and it is Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the most beautiful book I've ever seen. Like, it's so gorgeous and, like, intricately made in terms of its cover design. You can't really see, but there's, like, cloud smoke and billowingness and the end pages are gorgeous too. I put up an Instagram post on this and um, I just loved it. So this book, it is science fiction, standalone, YA, 
and I believe it's sort of about the end of the world and there's a lot of problems happening and there are these two people who are exes and they have to work together to save themselves and possibly the world. I don't remember but it's the first book in I believe it's going to be a trilogy and it's just so gorgeous and it's so interestingly done. It's just made up of tons of secret files and codes and stuff. Um, it's going to be complex and it's going to be interesting um, but the booktubers that I have um, heard of Reddit so far have really enjoyed it, so I'm confident that I will too. I also just got this in the mail, and it's a book that I've been wanting for such a long time because of its sheer beauty, and it is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Look at this cover. It's so stunning. Like, it's just beautiful, and it is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, and it's drawing from different Polish fairy tales, and it's gonna be like a modern-day Grimm brothers tale, and I am so excited to read this. It's just beautiful. Okay, finally into the birthday book haul portion. Uh, I received so many books, I think like six books, six, seven, seven books, oh my god, from my wonderful boyfriend. He just plied me with books, but uh, a number of them were used, so it was semi-okay. Um, but uh, the ones he did get that were not used were on sale because they're new. So the first one is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is her newest one that just came out a week or two ago and it is a spin-off in a way from Fangirl. Um, Kath, the um, leading lady in Fangirl, she wrote a lot of fan fiction about um, the characters Simon and Baz. Simon Snow is very similar to Harry Potter in this instance, and so what Rainbow Rowell did was create a novel um, based on Simon Snow and the fan fiction that Kath was writing, and it looks so good. It's such like, look at this. This is really pretty. And yeah, I don't know too much about it um, other than that, but it's Rainbow Rowell. I love Rainbow Rowell, so I'm confident that I will love this too. So that's it for my ambitious TBR. So for the rest of this, it is the haul. Let's go. So Matt also got me Relish, My Life in the Kitchen by Lucy Nisley. This is a graphic memoir that she did. Um, one of her first, I believe, maybe her second. And it is just the best one that she has done, in my opinion. And it is just a memoir of her life told through recipes and just her story with food. Um, I saw some of the recipes, I knew I had to have this, and just the way she describes growing up with foodie parents, and it's just wonderful. I'm so happy that I have my own copy. He also got me Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. This is the third and final book in the this Peregrine's kind of trilogy. And I don't know much about this except that it's the third book. I really don't know anything beyond that. I haven't read the first book yet. I uh, started it and then I got sidetracked, but I'm looking forward to going through the series. And the last four books he got me were the four final books that I was missing in the Dear Canada Diary series mentioned earlier. The first one was An Ocean Apart, The Gold Mountain Diary of Chin Mei Ling. And the next one is A Desperate Road to Freedom, The Underground Railroad Diary of Julia Mae Jackson. The second last one is Not a Nickel to Spare, The Great Depression Diary of Sally Cohen. And the last one is Prisoners in the Promised Land, The Ukrainian Internment Diary of Anya Solonyuk. And the last book that is a part of the birthday portion of my haul came from Matt's mom. She got us Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child. Guys, I've been wanting to have this for such a long time. I am obsessed with the movie Julie and Julia. I love Julia Child in general. I have her book, My Life in France. You know, I'm just all about this. So this is the first book, the first cookbook that she came out with that changed the world, the culinary world, forever. And I'm so excited to finally have this. It has everything in here. We are gonna be cooking. We're gonna be making some butter-rich dishes and awesome desserts. Okay, and the last new book that I have for this haul here is one I got because I couldn't resist, and it is Lost Ocean, an inky adventure in coloring book by Joanna Bosford. Now, I have never bought an adult coloring book before because I wouldn't say I'm against them. No, I'm not against them at all for people who like don't fancy themselves drawers or don't want to draw and make their own coloring pages or just want to color. That's fine too. But for me, I just rather 
um, draw and color my own stuff. But in this case, I've been following Joanna for a little while now. Um, I follow her on Instagram and YouTube, and I just really love her style, and I wanted to own her style. And so I got this one because it was on sale, since it's the newest one. It just came out a few days ago. And it's really, really cool, actually. There is, you can put your name in the front. It's lovely. And on the next page, you got yourself a little treasure hunt, which is so cool. Um, so what I'm going to do myself is experiment with color keys, like different color combinations, um, sort of like Mary Blair did. Um, but I'm just going to experiment in here and see what kind of color combinations I can come up with and then carry that into my own work. But I'm also just in awe of this. Look at this thing. Like, she did... So, she put so much work into this and it's fantastic. I'm going to link down below her behind the scenes tour of this book because I recommend that you check her out. She's just an amazing, amazing artist. So the last six books in this book haul are ones that I got really cheap, um, secondhand, just like treasures that I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. I must have you kind of thing. That's what happened. The first book is House at Pooh Corner by A.A. A. Milne. This is a gorgeous uh, colored illustrated edition and the pages are really pretty and it's just a very beautiful copy so I had to pick this up for myself. I also stumbled upon the Nancy Drew cookbook Clues to Good Cooking by Carolyn Keene. I was vaguely aware that this book existed but I never dreamed that I would just find it and get it for like a buck or two at Valley Village. It was such an amazing find and it's got like amazing recipe titles like Black Key Mystery Patties or Leaning Chimney Cones, Diary Chicken Salad. Like, I love this stuff. It's so cheesy. The next book I found is Libra The Library at Night by Alberto Manguel, and this is just a history of libraries. And given that my degree is in library science, this kind of thing fascinates me, and I might even be using this as a source for my next paper. I also found Persepolis by Marjean Satrapi. It is the complete graphic memoir of this amazing lady's life, and it's her growing up in 70s Iran up until around the 90s when she grew up. And if you haven't seen Persepolis, I will link the trailer down below to that too. Um, this, I read the graphic memoir literally this year actually, like early on this year, like early in the spring and I was just blown away by it. It was so good. It was just as good as the film. And the last two books in this haul, I'm pretty proud of finding. They are Falling Up and A Light in the Attic by Shel Silverstein. He, I've only read The Giving Tree by him, but I have seen these books of poetry just like my entire life, and I've never read them. And when I found them for four bucks each in perfect condition of Value Village, I was like, uh-huh, yeah. So it's children's poetry and it's classic and um, I read The Giving Tree by him and absolutely loved it. So I already know that I'm a fan of his writing and yeah, I was really excited. But I wanted to mention one final thing that Matt got me. It's a pug bookmark. Just just look at the... it's just like that. I already have some similar um, magnet bookmarks like these but he got me a pug one and it's really cute i love it okay that's it for my haul and november tbr i think that i have a rather ambitious tbr but then again i try to do that all the time so thank you so much for watching um if you have read any of these many books that i have mentioned in this video please feel free to comment down below and tell me what you thought of them and that's it for this video today so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys have a great week and i shall see you soon bye everyone